fakes the starter move. Here is a pass off from Trips to the baseline. That is good by the Pistol as he gets his first field goal and a foul on Tom McMillan. Well, that time Pistol moving without the basketball. He comes along the baseline. Clive gets caught behind the screen. You'll watch here. McMillan switches over to help out. McAdoo switches over to help out. And the foul is called. I didn't see who hit him, but they called the foul. And the free throw was good. So that's a three-point play for Maravich. Here's Frazier's shot. It is no good. And Otto Moore gets the board. Well, the next shooting cold right now. They're getting very good shots, but they're not falling for them. Clyde almost gets a steal at midcourt. Here's a Maravich five, and it's good. Pistol beat. And he's got five points already in New Orleans now by three. It is off the back iron. No good. Maravich rebound. <laughs> The Pistol, who is about set to negotiate a new contract with New Orleans, hits the score. Seven points for Pistol. New Orleans leads at 13 to 10. We're in the opening quarter. After the game, the Knicks have a charter flight back to New York. Here's a Maravich shot of the lane. It's good. Well, the Knicks are having a tough time defending against Pistol Pete. Pistol moving up the center, going with a jump shot. No, but a foul Monroe, and the Pearl does not believe it. No, oh, Jazz running with every opportunity now. They're controlling their defensive boards. The Knicks aren't getting any offensive rebounds, and the Jazz coming up running every time, and Pistol likes to handle the ball in the fast break. Maravich, an 83% free throw shooter, going to the line for the second time. He is one for one. That's the first foul on Monroe. Red Holzman is screaming at Don Murphy. He says that Maravich jumped right into the defending ball player, Owen Monroe. But the call didn't go that way. 17-14, New Orleans on top. 3.50 left in quarter number one. Pete Maravich. Maravich in his seventh year from LSU. BC is basically a defensive forward, so the pistol lets it fly, and he hits. No shot is too long for Maravich. Earlier this year, we had a shootout between Maravich and Monroe in a game at the Garden. First time the Jazz was in. The foul on Beard. Pistol Pete really played, much like a fiddle that time. He was moving very well to get his shot off that time. And we've got a timeout at the Superdome with 1.43 left in the first quarter to score. The Jazz 25 and the Knicks 23. Pete Maravich headed for the foul line as we come back to play. Pistol was fouled by Butch Beard. We've got 1.43 left in the quarter. Would you believe the 16th point of this period? Well, that's really something. 17 of 27 for Pistol Pete. It's 35-28. The Pistol had that one pop out. A head fake and a foul. Bonnie Shelton draws his first personal of the night. And Maravich to the foul line. That was his 18th point. Nobody in this ball game has missed a free throw yet. Maravich. Boy, he's got all kinds of moves. What move doesn't this guy have, Joe? Oh, he can do it all. And an inbound steal for the Jazz. Everything is going wrong. Pistol fires. Now they have given Dean Emerson the chance to try and entertain Pete Maravich. Nobody else has been able to do anything with him so far. Well, what do you say? 27 points for Maravich. Pistol can shoot, but he wants to get his shots off. You watch him using a screen here, working against Dean Emerson. Now he comes off the screen by Nate Williams and Otto Moore. Two guys boxing out right there, and their pistol goes up for a shot. Here's a halftime NBA score. Golden State 52 and Buffalo 50. The Warriors have lost three in a row, and the Braves have won four straight. Joe Mullaney doing a fine job in Buffalo. Maravich with a Incredible, absolutely incredible. 29 points. Everything go wrong. This is not the largest deficit the Knicks have faced this year. Back on January 11th in the third quarter in Portland, they were down by 34. But it's approaching that as Maravich guns one up. Maravich still working for shots. And he gets the shot. Oh, what an incredible shot. 
A foul will be called on McAdoo, and he almost got the field goal. Yeah, he can do no wrong tonight. Earl was on him. He put a good move on Monroe to get him off balance. McAdoo came over to help out. You'll watch on the replay now. He puts the fake on Earl. Earl goes past. McAdoo comes to help out. He gets them both up in the air, and he gets the contact there as he goes up for a shot. Pistol has missed his first free throw. He is now 11 of 12 at the line. They were pretty successful in the first, first half with this. Ten points for Shelton. Here is Maravich dribbling through that press. He's going to go in and drive shoot on the rim. It's good, and he was fouled. And Pistol ran right over top. A cameraman perched at courtside. Boy, he, I, he looks like he wants that new career high tonight. Well, it's awfully tough to press a man with his dribbling ability. You'll watch him here beating Lonnie Shelton. Monroe coming over, and he just goes right around Earl here. Earl bumps him as he goes up for a shot. He makes a three-point play out of it. That's right. He hits the foul. That's his 46th point. Maravich still working for shots. Here goes the pistol. Double team. Score it. Maravich now with 48 points. Pistol beat Maravich getting a rest right now. And listen to the hand he gets from this New Orleans crowd. You watch uh, Maravich here making a move against Bush Beard. Comes between his legs. Then he gets a little screen there. Comes around. McAdoo comes to help. Earl comes to help. But to no avail. Knicks have cut the uh, margin in half. The Jazz once led it by uh, 33. Well, there's Maravich hitting his 50th point. A jumper by the pistol. A career high for Maravich. 52 points. Maravich with a new career mark. Well, Knicks has tried everything and everybody on the pistol, and nobody has worked out too well. He's still shooting. 87. The pistol firing for 56. He's got it. The fans cheering for Pete. Here goes the pistol. He'll let it fly. This one is off target, but he's been fouled. He can do no wrong with the Jazz this evening. So he can pick up a couple here. That would give him 58. The pistol with 58 and the Jazz on top, 106-87. Pete Maravich has all of the points New Orleans has scored this quarter. He has had 50 or more points twice this year. The Knicks, uh, the Jazz won both times. He's had 40 or more points six times. The Jazz won all six. He has scored 30 points or better 26 times. And the team's record in those games is 18 and 8. So when Pistol does it, the Jazz do it. Pistol is great with the basketball, but he's also very good with the ball. You watch him get the ball up here, bump beam off on that pick there. McCullough did not switch, and that's the result. This was in for a layup. Fighting like that, too. Here he is at the free throw line, and he just keeps scoring up. That ball came in and went off of uh, Dean's hands, they call. They're looking for him. Aaron James inside. <laughs> the crowd rooting for Pete every time he comes up the floor. Nick's and trying to double team him now. Dean has the task of trying to contain him, and that's a hard job to do. Here he uses a pick and scores again. And look at his teammates rooting for him. Look at Coleman. Coleman leaps into the air when he scores. 65 for the pistol. The Jazz are going to pistol every time down the floor now. They're trying to get picks for him now. They're no longer asking him to bring the ball up the floor. Here's a foul. Some night. We've got 2.48 left, and he does indeed have a chance to get into these 70s. Playing for the first time tonight, number 11, Ron Behagen, into the ballgame. He replaces Coleman. When Ron came in the game, he came in to congratulate him. The pistol with 66 right now. Here's a basket for him if he can convert. Offensive foul, and that will foul him out of the ball game. 
with 118 to go. Listen to the handy gets with 68 points.